Thanks for your time. Um, your opponent, Chancey, is giving you a bit of uh, lip. He's very confident. Do you like that, or does it put more pressure on you, or does it inspire you more? Um, I'm not too sure. I think that's... You just got to, for myself, I respect him because I respect him as a fighter, uh, with his record, uh, his experience. Uh, I respect him. You know, I know my lane in boxing, I know where I am in boxing, uh, but I know where I want to get to. And, um, I think, you know, him being the way that he was today, uh, he's earned that right to. And, you know, for myself, I'm just a puppy in the sport, but um, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean it's not going to stop me from stop my determination to win on uh, tomorrow night. So we just have to wait and see. You are very early in your career and you haven't fought for a long time. Do you think there's any extra bit of pressure on you because people expect so much of you boxing wise regardless of what you, you've achieved in your in your league and union career? Definitely, definitely. Like, uh, I think it's, it's a bit of a disadvantage in a boxing sense because you, know, you do have to take on fighters like this at such an early stage of your career but um, you know, at the end of the day, all I can do is my best. You know, and uh, I've taken chances, and the you know, knockers will still knock me for taking on guys like that where I'm out of my head. But um, in saying that, you know, uh, where my life is right now, it doesn't really bother me, or it doesn't bother me. You know, and, um, I just concentrate what, 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 on what's important to me, and that's my family, my religion, and also training as hard as I can. And, um, tomorrow night, Saturday night, you know, we can do all the talking we want here, but it's all going to show tomorrow night. You haven't fought, but do you feel like you've improved as a fighter with all the training you've done over the last couple of years? Well, I haven't really done any training in the last couple of years, to tell you the truth. It's the last two months is all I've done. But, you know, the first probably four or five weeks, four weeks is just getting, getting the, the body um, used to throwing punches again. And, uh, under the guidance of Tony, um, I've done that really well. And then, you know, obviously sparring come into play. And, Picked up little, um, little small subtleties of the sport, I feel, and I feel confident. Uh, just the amount of sparring I've done and quality sparrows I've had, again, I've had uh, it's given me confidence to go on here tomorrow night. And you know, even though I haven't had four you know, for the last couple of years, or I've only had six fights, I've been in professional sports for ten, 10 years now, so that gives me something to fall back on. In boxing, every fight counts, uh, but looking ahead, is this something you want to do when you finish union and league? You want to be a prof like 35, 40, you want to be a professional boxer full time? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, you know, like he's touched on, the fighters fight until they're 35, going on 40 now. And I don't know if I was, could still be a sportsman at that age, but you know, I would, five years ago, I guess, you know, I wouldn't say that I'd be sitting here right now, so who knows? Thanks for your time, Sonny, and good luck tomorrow night. Thanks, Mike Tyson. Yeah, I'll obviously, you know, Mike Tyson, Lee, and all those guys. Big Bird, Big Daddy, he's a good one. He's a good one. He's a good one. Great fighters to learn on. I really like it. I like watching, I guess, different fighters, strong attributes that they have, different styles, different techniques.